first thing that I'm going to show you guys is a really fun prop replica that we have here based on the Flash and Legends of Tomorrow TV shows. This is Captain Cold's gun. So it's a $300 prop replica, but what we did is we based it exactly off the prop as seen in the show. They sent it actually over to our offices. We were able to do an exact replica of that. But then we are like, we're going to add up a few features here. So you see a nice little hidden button here. When you hit that on, you get some nice light feature going on here, the light over here. And more importantly, when you pull the trigger, you get some little cold shooting going on. So it has the entire fun thing. It comes with a nice base. Uh, there will be two uh, little basically screwed poles that you can put this into so you can display it nice like this. Or you can unscrew it and take it off if you want to run around your house like a crazy person shooting people with your cold gun. Uh, so just a nice little piece here that we're really excited about. Uh, again, we like the authenticity of it too, that we based it off the original prop so that you get the full experience. If you really love these shows, you want to take home a piece of it, you're going to be able to do that. So let's start over here, actually, and we'll go through some of these uh, guys as well. We have an Arkham Knight action figure line. We've been doing it since the first Arkham Asylum video game, and so there's four video games into the series. We're really excited that it's been going on for so long. This wraps up the series of games, but what we're hearing from fans is they want all the figures. So if we didn't get to all the figures done, they're like, I don't care that the game's not playing anymore. There's still some downloadable content coming out. I still want more figures. Keep going. So you're going to see some of it here. The bottom row is kind of th some things that are coming out in stores right now. So we have some additional villains like Professor Pig and Man Bat, and we have some heroes or anti-heroes like Azrael and Red Hood. So those guys are hitting stores now, but we wanted to do some more. So throughout the year, you're going to see additional uh, figures. We have a great three-pack of Batman fighting off two of his Arkham Knight goons, so you got the two different versions there. Just like in the game itself, you have different kinds of baddies that you fight. Some are a little more slick, some are more beefed up with some gun stuff, and you have different accessories for each there. We have some downloadable uh, skins that happen in the game, too, so you get different versions of characters. So like Harley, you'll have her original look. You also have vacation version Joker as well, kind of from the Killing Joke um, there. So while we've already done these characters, these are new looks for them based off of the skins in the game. We have a Poison Ivy we'll be doing based on the Arkham Knight version, even though we've done other versions as well. And then the big thing for us at the end of the year, so we're talking around November, December, we're going to have a two-pack of Barbara Gordon, both as Oracle and as Batgirl. So throughout the series, she's been there as Oracle with Batman the whole time, which has been awesome. She's been such a key member of this, even if you only hear her voice. But then they did a downloadable content patch where you could play as Batgirl for a bit. So this is that kind of perfect mix of all of them. And we haven't done an Oracle figure since, I think, 1999 it's been. So it's been a while, so it's really nice to get her back into the mix. We got over here, some, speaking of some cool two-packs, uh, our DC TV uh, line is doing really well for us. We already looked at the flash gun for a little bit, but now we have some of the action figures and other statues that we're using to support it. We have a two-pack of flash and arrow, so you got Grant Gustin's beautiful face there, but it'll also be able to switch out so you can have him in full costume. Uh, it's in both of their new costumes, so they've changed out costumes in a couple of the different seasons. So this is the season two costume of Flash. He has his new white emblem, and you have the newest version of Arrow as well. So it's a nice way to kind of get the newest looks, but you get them together. They have some great crossover episodes already, so we now have our crossover pack. Uh, speaking of great shows, we're really excited about Supergirl. Melissa Benoist is amazing. She's everything you would want Supergirl to be in person and on set. So we were really happy to be able to do 12-inch statues of some of our other characters, and she's next in line. She'll have a cloth cape that has some wire uh, framing into it so you can get it for dramatic looks. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a likeness of her on the statue as well, so you're going to be able to add that to your collection just like you have your Arrow and your Flash and Commissioner Gordon and all those fun guys. We have, uh, I'll take you to these guys next real quick. Last year at Comic-Con, we had a really cool sketch variant version of Batman. And it was something new that we had tried. And it's a redeco paint, but it's a really elaborate repaint where it looks like this, where it feels like a sketch drawing has come to life. And that was kind of our intent. Um, we're looking to do it again this year. So we have Superman coming in based on the Jim Lee um, action figure. Uh, we have an actual sketch that you're going to see in the packaging. It's really elaborate packaging, which I love. It has a magnetic closure, so you know it's closed up like that. You have to kind of use a little bit of force to open it up. You have a nice display. The figure will be here. The sketch will be here. It'll be a reproduced sketch through all of them. Uh, we did try something with Batman where there's some individual ones, but that was kind of crazy. So we're going to go back with a basic version. It allows us to do other characters going forward. Maybe there's Wonder Woman. Maybe there's other artists. We'll see what we do. Uh, we have a great publishing event going on right now called the Dark Knight 3. It's the part of the trilogy, the Frank Miller trilogy, starting.
started back from Dark Knight Returns. This is Dark Knight 3 going on right now. Andy Kubert's working on some art design stuff for it and did some great drawings for us that we were able to turn into a 12-inch massive Batman. I mean, this is a big Batman. Uh, and it's a great statue that'll be coming out right around the end of the story, so around May, June time, you're going to see this statue coming out. Uh, just a really great, powerful Batman statue. We're really happy for it. Although the fact he's even standing on the base. Oh, no, he's so big, he's like, this base is too small. Because this base is based on our designer series, where we had the Batgirl, the new Burnside Batgirl, that we had a nice 12 inch statue of. There's a couple others that'll be coming out on this base. He's like, no. No, I, I don't do just one base. Uh, so you kind of see that as part of our designer series line here. Up here, we have uh, the Batman v Superman statue line that we have, which is four separate statues. You have a Superman, a Batman, a Wonder Woman, and an armored Batman. Uh, just amazing detail. We were really happy and lucky to work with the production on this, the um, behind the scenes production, the directors, the producers, everybody had a say, kind of to make sure that we got the spirit of the figures as well as as much detailing as possible. So you can see the detailing in the textures on the costumes. We got great wire dramatic capes going. We got these aggressive poses for Batman and Superman and it's definitely a conflict between the two of them in that movie. And they really wanted to make sure we captured that in the posing so they're not just beauty poses. These are ready-to-fight versions of Batman and Superman. We have uh, a Gal Gadot Wonder Woman as well, as she makes a brief appearance in the movie. We're getting ready, obviously, gearing up for her Wonder Woman movie soon, so we're already filming it. We're excited. Uh, there's more additional details to be added to that statue, but then you see also the armored Batman with his crazy armor. Uh, ben Affleck is 6'5", so you put him in that armor as well. He's going to be one imposing dude. So even Superman, I think, is going to take a little pause when he sees Ben Affleck coming out of an act. Superman. Speaking of amazing, beautiful uh, things that uh, are near and dear to my heart, our Suicide Squad line. We are in love with this. So, the movie's going to be amazing, and Dave Ayers has done a great job of collecting uh, an amazing cast that really bonded and feels really tight and cohesive. The statues, we had to bring it, like, you know, for this, because they've done so much pre-work in this movie. We were able to work with the production, and we saw thousands of photos of these guys and all their crazy posing and their personalities. We needed to bring that, that personality into the statue line, so you'll see it all across, and everybody has their unique kind of feeling. From Deadshot or Harley or Joker, we got a great boomerang, croc, katana in this first wave. There are, an addition, there are additional characters in the squad. Uh, we don't have them in the mix yet, but we feel really strong about this, and they're probably going to be coming and working on some other things. Uh, Jake Courtney, just crazy with that face. I mean, we don't normally even do open mouths, but he's just like, we saw him sticking out his tongue in one of the photos, like, we must do this. And there's so much detail, like his coat is amazing, and it opens up in the back, boomerangs also fit inside, and it's just really great details from his glove to the masking tape on his parts of his costume. All very specific, but really interesting stuff that was done. The texture, are like that's kind of almost like the scaling on the jacket of Croc. In some cases, if we can afford it, we're going to do alternate heads. So it'll be a magnet, you know, you can just pop them on and off, but you can get hood up and hood down and crop. You'll be able to get Will Smith's uh, face with the, just the scope, or you can get it fully masked. Um, you know, they're really detailed, so we're hoping we can afford it, but if we can't, we'll just do the heads as you see them on there. Harley will have the actual fabric um, fishnets. You can see crazy detailing on the jacket, the tattoo placements. Um, you'll see the crazy tattoo placement all over Joker as well. They'll have reversible bases, so you can either have the dog tag first base where we flipped over two of them just so you can kind of see they each have individual logos that will be on the back as well. So we're really, really happy about that. Speaking of big deal, DC Films. So we, we weren't just happy with just with statues, we're like screw that, we gotta do more. So we've never done anything like this before. A theatrical action figure line, and we're calling it a premium action figure line because it's going to be a little different than what we normally do. While it's in the same scale as our video games and our TV figures, which we just looked at, so it's in that six and three quarter inch scale, these guys are going to be plussed out to the nth degree. So they're going to be a little more expensive because of that we're talking maybe sometimes $45, $50 for a figure. But what they're going to come with is crazy amount of articulation. We're talking 40, 50 points of articulation. We're talking swivel joints. We're talking bending, double elbows, double knees, all that stuff. They're going to have fabric capes, which is something we don't normally do with our 6-inch, and they're going to have wiring in those as well, so you're going to get a lot of effect. Uh, they're going to come with different kinds of um of materials too, so if it's a little bit more leathery or so for Zod, you're going to get that look, which is a little different than maybe one of the cloth capes for like Superman. 
they're gonna come with multiple heads. You can see Zod, he has really mean face, less mean face, and then covered up face with his armor. So you're gonna see different heads, you're gonna see with accessories, they're gonna come with weapons or items from the movies, and they're gonna come with a crazy base. So you can kind of see a prototype version that Zod has. So you can get flight, you can get hovering out of these things. So it's a whole new way to work with these figures that you've not been able to do with our figures in the past. And hopefully the base two will come with customization so you can move it around to get the balance you need to get the effect. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of characters going all the way back to Man of Steel. Because this is our DC Films universe, so it's everybody who's interacting with each other at some point. So you can go all the way back to Man of Steel with Feyora, Jarrell, Zod. You're going to get Batman v Superman with Lex and Superman and Batman Armored, Wonder Woman. You're going to see Suicide Squad. We have Diablo, who you didn't see in statue you know, size, but you see him here in action figure. You're going to see Harley and more. We're, we're not going to be afraid to go into characters that somebody else wouldn't do. While these won't be necessarily out at the time of the movie, it's a long reaching line. So the whole point is by deep. This is the world. This is that cinematic world all together. You're going to get Lois Lane, Amanda Waller, Alfred, you know, all those guys who somebody else might be like, eh, it's just a person in a regular outfit. No, no, no. They are part of the DC cinematic world. And Lois is so important. She must be in this. So while you don't see some of those characters here yet, that is the intent of this. They start at the end of the year and move into 17. And at that point, you're, we're going to be rocking and rolling with two movies a year. So you're going to see, you know, Wonder Woman stuff, Justice League stuff, all those guys peppered throughout this as well. As well as going back and finishing off more people from Man of Steel. We're not just going to do one or two. We're going to go back to Man of Steel as well. So you get to see a whole bunch of this stuff. It's going to go deep. We've had actually a lot of people who like these plexiglass backings, so we might actually find a way to do that in addition to the crazy base so that people can have a nice display if they want as well. But it's going to be marketed as DC Films as an overreaching big line. We're really excited about it because we haven't gotten to do that before. We have this crazy packaging too. So this is like a prototype thing obviously and it'll be a thicker thing but again we love our magnetic closures and it'll open up and you'll have like a nice photo of some sort on the front it'll open up you'll see the figure here you'll get accessories up on the side you'll have a cool fifth panel that we can tell some kind of story with if we want to you'll see you know cross sell on the back so it's just a really nice kind of piece of, of premium you know action figure so in the same scale oh, we're, we're, oh, no, we're limited articulation this whole line is about the artist interpretation so in this case, it's our Greg Capullo line, which has been super successful for us. We're already like four or five waves in. We have additional waves shown here. He started drawing some of the Justice League for us. So we got Justice League members represented with Wonder Woman, Flash, Superman, Hal Jordan, and Aquaman. We got our survival version of Batman from Zero Year. We got the new Joker look. And then the current storyline is just, just starting to wrap up as Commissioner Gordon as Batman. So he has his bat suit, and he has to have the armor that he gets into. So in this case, we have a full separate figure, which is Gordon outside of the suit, and then we have a partial figure that's in the suit, but the suit can also close up, so you get the full robot, you get partial, and you get him outside. Let me see if I can actually get this on without breaking it. It is a prototype, so I apologize if I break. But you'll see, you'll be able to close up, and the head will either come off, or it'll fit over. We have to work that out, but you'll get the sense of the full guy there. So you get tall robot Batman, you get Batman outside of it, or you get him partially inside. Again, more limited articulation, because it's really about capturing the look of the artist, but we're really excited about this line being so successful. He has a great chiseled look to the characters. They are almost animated in, in its simplicity, but still right out of the comics. So super excited for that. Speaking of crazy designer lines, not that you were necessarily saying that, but I'm saying it, we have our new Harley Quinn line as designed by Amanda Connor. Amanda Connor is our co-writer on the Harley book. She's an artist in herself. She does cover art for the book. Amazing stuff. We wanted to get the quirky sense of humor of the book in the line itself. So first things first, we're like, Amanda, please draw us the regular costume for Harley. It hasn't been seen in the book, in the new book yet, but we wanted to get that into the line, so that's the first figure you see here. But then we have great costume changes to look for throughout the line. So we have our rock, retro rocket Harley, which is a space look, our superhero look, and our holiday Harley look as well. All of them capturing hopefully the fun and the kind of change out nature of those. But what's really interesting about this is we're like, that's not quirky enough. So it's all about the accessories for us in this line. You're going to see a bunch of different accessories here, and they're going to have playful features just like we want the, the comic to have. We want that in the line here as well. So say Harley um, for the holidays, has her hammer and her bomb, 
that hammer is probably going to be like a little squeaky hammer, so you can bang and get that sound effect. Or in Superhero Harley, she has her crazy chibi head here. It's going to be plastic. You're going to be suck up some water and have some real crying tears there when you put, put it on her head. Uh, the pizza alien that she encounters in the book. Maybe we can get pizza smell in there. Get a little wiry version so he can be poseable. Uh, so they're going to be as wacky and crazy like the, unfortunately, the dead beaver that hangs out with her. will be a squeezy guy who will shoot off parts of things out of his stomach. Like, we just want to really play with the quirkiness and the fun of the book and make this line just as fun. Where the Greg Capullo line may be very correct and, and real to like the look in the books, this has to be as wacky and as unexpected as the comic is itself. So we had um, a really nice lunch with Amanda and she was like, okay, you guys got to kick it up a notch. And at some point, I expect a Harley dream house out of this whole thing. So you never know. If this line is very successful, you may see a dream house at some point. But we were also like, who else can handle a line where it's that same character in every character, you know, in, a, in the entire wave? Harley can. She's the one who can do it. So speaking of a lot of the same character, we got right. Rainbow Batman. It started as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so about two um, April Fools ago, we did it as a joke of like, hey, we're going to do all the killer Batmans. And people are like, okay. So no, that is it we're like, no, it's not. It was a joke. And they're like, no, 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 no. When is it coming out? So it's based off the famous uh, cover from the uh, Detective Comics back in the 50s where it was multiple outfits. Yeah, each night he had to go out in a different color outfit for whatever crazy reason they had in the 50s. Um, we had then Funko, one of our licensees, was like, well, we're going to do different color pops. We'll, we'll do that and see how it works. And it did really well for them. So we're like, okay, I think people really like the multicolored Batmans. It's going to come out as a set. You're going to get all six questions. Are, are these and done, it's just uh, a nice little rainbow colored Batman set. All we're kind of excited for it. We've gotten a lot of good response, though. That is cool. <laughs> so now we move down to our six inch scale of action figures. They all uh, were six and three quarter inch. Six inch scale, it's our deep line. This is going through all the comic stuff. So everything from uh, old um, old storylines, new storylines, whatever maybe were iconic versions of those characters. So we have like Death of the Family Joker, we got the Mosaic version of John Stewart, we got Brightest Day Firestorm, original look static. Um, so a lot of different versions kind of mixing it up here. And we have the same thing down here with an original Swamp Thing. We got new version from Dark Side War of Wonder Woman, the Forever Evil version of Cyborg, and Judas Contract Deathstroke. So you can kind of see we're playing with errors all over the place, but also trying to give them a lot of accessories. Like in the case of Wonder Woman, we actually have a lasso that's you know, unfurled. You don't just have this thing attached to her hip. It's actually usable. You've got the nuclear blasts on Firestorm. This great manhole cover with static electricity for static, so you actually can use them. He has static electricity coming out of one of his hands. We want to showcase these powers. These guys are a little more articulated than our designer line. We want people to you know, set them all up and then send us some cool pictures of what they did. Uh, so you can kind of see the individual figures here. In replacement of our New 52 line, we had a seven pack that's doing really well for us, but by the end of the year, we're gonna be really focusing on icons. So we're gonna change out that seven pack to a seven pack that's all icons based. So anybody who was out before in an older costume is gonna get an updated costume in this set. So Superman, Batman, Flash, and Aquaman will get updated costumes for the seven pack. They won't have as much accessories as they do as individual figures, but it's a nice gift pack for somebody who wants to get started. We're also going crazy with scale. So we have a two pack, although it's almost like a three pack with as much uh, as we have in the pack. It's Darkseid and his daughter Grail from the new Darkseid War storyline. Darkseid will be fully articulated. He's gonna be 12 inches because he is about twice the size of a regular character in the universe. So you can kind of see with their accessories and all this stuff, it's gonna be a massive set for 100 bucks. Uh, one of the highlights of the show for everybody has been this Batgirl um, bigger pack, I guess you could say, her and her bat cycle. It's always great when Batgirl has a cycle. It's just from the 1960s on, it's been a fun thing. So you can kind of see her in her new uh, Burnside outfit. She comes with the motorcycle. The motorcycle will have rolling wheels, but if you want to display it like that, you can. And if you're displaying it and you want that action, you have an alternate head where she has her hair flowing back and the cape that's also flowing back. So you put the cape on her, you change out the head, you got a full in-action Batgirl on her bat cycle. So we're really excited about that one. Uh, we also, for the first time for us, we are doing accessory packs. We've never done that before. But that's how much we're trying to show what you can do with this line and how many pieces and parts you can do it to it. So each one will come with a little guy, in this case it's Chip or Batmite. 
You also get trophies, so like you know the Jake Garrick helmet or the um, Dr. Fate helmet, which will you'll be able to open them up and, and yank those guys out. You have accessory packs that have Green Lantern accessories, Green Arrow, so a Joker fish and batarangs, Starro that'll you know have a little face hugger. Uh, you get little alternate hands for Flash for lightning effects. So just a lot of pieces that'll work with figures you may have already purchased, or maybe in some cases figures that are coming up. So we like that a lot. We're going to probably be doing more of that going forward. And obviously, if possible, we'll start we'll kind of work that into the Batman animated line as well, which, as we're just there, that's a nice segue, <laughs> we have the Batman animated line, which has been going strong for a year for us as well. Six inch as well, super articulated, lots of accessories. You'll see, you know, different hands, different pieces and parts for some of this, head changes in some cases, like things that are episode specific were really tied to that character. Uh, we have these guys coming up. These are production, so you can kind of see what the movement and what the accessory, uh, what the articulation is like, and also how well we captured the likeness in a final production version. So we have prototypes for a lot of the rest, but you can see we're going to be able to capture the look. Uh, new Harley from the new Batman Adventures, so she's a little wackier in that version, so you have an alternate head to really play up the cartooniness of it. You got Firefly, uh, Fire Suit Batman, the Clayface Deluxe with all these different parts and pieces, which is awesome. But we're also going into people like Harvey Bullock, you know, you got um, the Ventriloquist and Scarface, Talia. These guys were out like in the Kenner one years ago, but only as like an exclusive to a certain account, so you didn't even see them that much. You got the new Joker, uh, who'll come with his hyenas. One of the fun packs that we're doing is the Girls Night Out pack. They won't have as much accessories. Again, it's like a gift pack, but you're going to get the first time seeing Supergirl and Livewire. So while the other girls have been out or will be out in single figure, these are the first time you're seeing any of the Superman universe in here, because we haven't done any Superman figures yet. This is still a Batman animated one based on a certain episode. I'll hit those guys in a second, but we have a deluxe Batmobile set, so our Batmobile came out last year, super popular for us. Uh, it's going to actually probably be out of production soon, so we wanted to make sure something else was back there for people to buy. We thought we'd do a nice little deluxe set again so that people can have a good starter set. It's your Batmobile, but now with new paint to have a more metallic look on the metal parts of the Batmobile. It'll come with two figures, a Batman and a Robin. They'll have cloth capes for people who are worried about how they fit into the, the vehicle itself. It'll also come with the bat signal itself that will light up. Um, so it's not going to be super bright. It has just a nice little light to get the effect. Just a nice set of parts and pieces so you kind of have your beginnings to the Batman world. Um, we're also going to be offering these two figures in the bat signal set for dollars for those people who, why they would not want to buy it again, I don't know. But people who do not think this paint is so amazing that they need to have it, they can just buy the figures in the bat signal. Uh, we also have some uh, gift packs as well you can kind of see here. One will be a single figure that comes out around holiday time. It's an episode specific Joker from that episode where he had the crazy, you know, Charlie Brown versus his creature. Even his silly, weird puppet hand thing is there as an accessory. So, very specific to the episode, but a really nice holiday kind of based thing. Uh, we have a two pack that's coming out actually very shortly of Joker and Harley. It will come with an issue of Mad Love, their storyline together, where she appears in the nightgown version. So, this version of her figure will only ever be available in the animated version. It's a redeco of Joker, but it's a brand new you know, version of Harley. Then we have a great, crazy three-pack from an episode of A New Batman Adventures where it was, they were telling different stories of Batman, and there was like a Dick Sprang, one was more 50s, but then they also go to a Dark Knight one, which is the crazy uh, Frank Miller one. Probably our thickest Batman yet. We were a little surprised. We thought our Demon Etrigan figure was going to be one of the biggest ones, but this guy kind of killed it. Uh, so we got um, Batman, we got Carrie Kelly Robin, you know, like a Lego or a pack. And yep. you're going to get uh, hands, accessories, all that kind of fun stuff as well. Uh, then uh, speaking of cool packs, we, we got yeah, okay. so something that people we're have been really done. asking yeah, for. Every, like, every time we talk about that, we're going to do their Superman stuff, and are you doing that and beyond? So I think we were like tired of being coy about it, and we're like, okay, we're just going to show you what we got. In this case, it won't be out probably until about December, January, um, so it's a little while off. But we have a great three pack to show our Batman Beyond commitment. We got Batman, Bruce Wayne, and Ace the Bat Hound. So we got our, uh, everybody who hangs out in the Batcave together in three pack. They'll come with some accessories as well. Um, we're really looking forward to that because hopefully it shows that like Batman Beyond is on the table and there's going to be cool stuff coming from that. So that's a lot of the Batman anime stuff. But there's one more thing I'm going to make. Oh god! Because we're not ridiculous enough. <laughs> 
Uh, and if I drop it, I apologize because I'm, <laughs> I'm getting bad with this prototype. It's already starting to fall apart. But like we did last year where we had the Batmobile, when that became so successful, we had already had this in the works, but we were like, we definitely got to go ahead with this. How can we top the Batmobile, the Batplane? And the Batplane in scale for these figures. It's not just to have a Batplane, it's a Batplane that fits the two figures. It was important for us with the Batmobile to have side-by-side -side characters. In this case, there is a storyline where you see two people in the Batplane, and so it will fit two figures back to back. Uh, which is really great for us because the original toys never went that far. You didn't get that sense of teamwork. It's so important in a lot of the, the bigger Bat family to have these guys traveling together. So it's just a nice, fun play feature here. Uh, there'll be the cockpit that'll go back and forth. You'll have some lights inside here, like in the Batmobile, so that'll glow it out there. There'll also be some lights in the afterburner. So you get some lights, you get the moving uh, piece there, and then you get crazy landing gear, which is nice. So that if you have a crazy table like this, you can put it down. The landing gear, though, is retractable. There's a piece that comes up here. These guys close up like this, so you get a nice flat version here. Boom, boom. But, you know, you're going to want to display it on a table. Or, we've been getting a lot of feedback, actually, here at Toy Fair, that people would be interested, if we can afford it, to work in a wall mount. And you can have a nice little effect where it's, it's art. And then we're encouraging people to paint a giant moon behind it for the full Tim Burton effect. Uh, so, something that will allow people to get it off the floor, which would be nice, get it um, as a nice display piece. People are talking about fishing wire already and how they're going to you know, play with it. So, I think it's, again, another successful piece for the collection. It's a nice show piece for people who want to show their dedication to this line, get the things that they maybe wished for as a kid but didn't think would ever happen. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something we're excited about, and we're already thinking of how we're topping it for next year. I'm just saying. We got some plush here, uh, so we're continuing our Super Pets line. We got Osito the bear for Bane, we got Ace the bat hound, we got Jumpa the kangaroo, and we got one of the Joker fish. Uh, we're continuing this line, it's awesome. They're super cuddly plush. We love these guys. Um, we're getting great response. We're just loving to go deeper and deeper in the types of characters and all that fun stuff as well. We got statue lines, we got two good statue lines um, continuing for us, well one starting, one continuing. We love our Bombshells line. We love playing with the characters and the poses and the looks. We got our deluxe statue here of Superman and Power Girl, it's our first male hero. We had Joker already in the mix, but now we have Superman. Uh, we love those two, we also love that Power Girl's the one kind of in, in control of that situation. It's kind of like a take on the Muscle Beach photos where instead of a guy holding up a girl, it's, she's like, I got this, which I love. Uh, it really keeps the Bombshell feel. We have Raven being introduced for the first time. And her little demon side is coming out a little bit here, and we get a really nice effect of her hovering up and using the magic, obviously, using the cape as support. And then fun for us, because she's such a major part of our new initiative for DC Superhero Girls, which Mattel's doing, Bumblebee is back into the limelight. So she's a Teen Titan member, and she was also on the Teen Titan cartoon for a little bit, and she had those great little afro puffs on either side, which made us think, when we're doing our cheerleader, she has such energy, I'd love to get some height for her as the Bumblebee kind of effect, and we just thought she was a perfect fit. So she'll be coming out as well um, in this next year. Uh, really exciting for us to continue this line. It's really successful. Something new that we're starting, obviously you can't get enough Harley. We have a whole action figure line of it. It's now important to do a whole statue line based on that. And we think she'll only get bigger after the Suicide Squad movie. So you have um, a set of three that we'll be having by the end of the year. It is a smaller scale statue, similar to our Batman black and white uh, size. Uh, but there's a hit of color, so you get a little bit of red in this, because red's such a key part of her costume in all of her iterations. So it's just a fun thing to play up. So something that had been maybe out of stock, or um, limited edition like her bombshell statue, you can now get in a smaller size with um, uh, one hit of color. We also have our Amanda Connor holiday version, which will be out in time for holiday. And then one of the ideas and inspirations between that one hit of color were our, our Arkham statue line we did earlier. This is a smaller version of the Arkham City one, so you get all those guys there. We'll have some existing sculpts redone in a smaller size and some new sculpts in the line, so it'll be a mixture of both. We're really excited about that.